Hello everybody. Welcome to today's video. In this video we will look into groundbreaking engineering innovations in the recent days. Let's get into the video. Before getting into the video let us understand what innovation is. Innovation is any new idea, creative thoughts, new imagination in the form of decavis or method. It helps creating more effective processes, products and ideas that improve the quality of service or the product. First let us take a look at the floating wind turbines in Scotland. The floating wind farm project is close to the shore. As of now 5 turbines is placed in 400 foot deep water. It is capable of generating power to meet needs of around 20,000 homes. Each turbine rises 175 meters from sea surface to blade tip and extend another 78 meters below the surface where they are then chained to the seabed to stay in position. This project was developed by Norwegian energy firm Steadily. They have been working on this for 15 years. There are plans to increase the number of turbines further into the sea where winds are stronger. This will be done in the near future. The company iCare Technologies has developed a smart ring that will replace all your credit cards. It is called Eagles and it will be available for sale soon. With its contactless NFC technology, the ring does not need charging or changing its batteries. Since it does not rely on power, just like a credit card. It offers different options, from payment to people identification, access control, transportation tickets, etc. With a military level safety, all the information is perfectly protected. And only the ring's owner can activate it and use it. The next one is turning humid air into drinking water. Lack of water in certain parts of the world is an enormous problem. And the ongoing abuse this natural resource has made the situation even worse. For this reason, water generator was developed, providing a solution to this problem with an electricity powered device that transforms air humidity into drinking water. Air enters the water generator to be fully filtered and clean, eliminating dirt and dust. Then this air goes to the heat exchanger and through a cooling process. Hence condensation. Then water is channeled through a multi-stage filtering system that eliminates impurities, adds minerals, and keeps a fresh taste all the healthy qualities. Railway tracks are complex structures with important geometrical requirements and are very sensitive to ground movements, such as vibrations or earthquakes. This is the big challenge that faced Sound Transit's new project. On this East Link Bridge which will be completed in 2023, steel platforms and flexible bearings will let light rail tracks stay in line. By 2030, 50,000 commuters a day will ride 148,000 pound trains at full speed across the water from Seattle to Mercer Island, Washington. 3D printing is a slow but steady industrial revolution and a very current technology trend. It is a true innovation engineering revolution regarding product design and manufacturing. And it is used for an increasing number of applications besides fast prototyping. The addition of metal to the list of 3D printing materials enables the manufacturing of low annual volume and complex shaped parts. For the automotive and aerospace sectors that would be very expensive to produce otherwise. Another example is VRZ2, a fully 3D printed bicycle using titanium. A completely different application is food making. Chef Bernard Fauché cooks 3D printed pasta at Google headquarters. During the printing process, he can control temperature and cooking time depending on the type of food. 3D printing is a recent innovation that is being used in several fields. In the future we may be surrounded by concrete structures, which are able to self-heal cracks in their structure, with special bacteria doing the job for us. Tiny cracks in concrete do not necessarily affect structural integrity in the short term, but they do allow water and other chemicals to seep into the structure, which may cause big problems over time. Self-healing concrete has dormant bacteria and a food source embedded in the concrete. When a crack appears in the concrete, water seeps in and reactivates the bacteria. After they awaken, the bacteria eat their packed lunch and then conveniently excrete calcite, which heals the crack. The bacteria can survive dormant in the material for 50 years. 
Superconductivity is a quality of some materials that let electricity flow without resistance. With a 100% efficiency. This can be achieved generally at very low temperatures. The former record had been set at minus 73 degrees Celsius. A very difficult and costly temperature to keep. On the 23rd of May of 2019. This temperature record was broken by a team of scientists from the University of Chicago. Who managed to activate superconductivity at minus 23 degrees Celsius. A great achievement for this kind of technology. This could mark the beginning of a new era for superconductivity. Which may have an enormous impact in today's world. Electric wires without decreasing currents, extremely fast supercomputers, ultra-efficient electric engines, and maglev trains. Would be some invention superconductivity may provide. The next one is foldable solar mat. When outdoors and you are away from main power. You need a way to keep your essential electronics running. Instead of costly generators you can make use of these foldable solar panels. This is ideal for camps. The mat consists of solar cells and panels and function like a normal solar cell. 8 500 ton steel bone pedals. Sit above the main seating bowl in Atlanta's newest stadium. Covered in a durable translucent fabric. The pedals unfurl 200 feet over the field. Shielding fans and players from inclement weather. Opening or shutting like a camera aperture in as quick as 9 minutes. Life Straw is a tube about 9.25 inches long and about an inch around. The outer shell of the unit is made of a durable plastic. With a string attached so users can wear it around their necks. To use it. A person simply sticks the Life Straw directly into the water source. And drinks as he or she would from a straw. No electricity or battery power is required. Gravity guides water through a series of filters. The user pours water into the pre-filter and bucket at the top of the unit. The water then moves down the tube. And runs through the hollow fiber technology. The user can then pour the newly purified water from the tap. The person can clean the filter by closing the tap. And pressing a red squeeze bulb to release the collected residue. And can use a rag to wipe the pre-filter bucket. Life Straw family can filter about 9 to 12 liters of water per hour. That's it for today. Hope today's video was informative and useful. Kindly support DRM Engineering. Also do subscribe if you haven't. We'll meet you with our next video shortly.